So Buzz put a couple of uh, these guitars in my hands. I guess it's a T Pro and a an Elite, right? Those are the two. Both great guitars, different guitars, but the same good characteristics of every note is solid. The guitar is in tune. The tones are great. There's no uh, you get a single coil feel, but it's a hum canceling pickup. And um, you know the neck is shaped good. It feels comfortable. And the the thing is, a musician, especially an improvising musician, which you know, if you're doing recording work, you, you're doing mostly improvising that's being recorded and then becoming something that people learn. But uh, when you're when every note is a good note and every note is an in tune note and when you can play a soft note and it's beautiful and you can play a loud note or chord and it's beautiful then all of a sudden the guitar disappears and and you uh, then you're thinking of music and playing it and that's what we hope for and uh, Buzz has somehow figured out how to make guitars that respond because, because he's a great player he knows when he's getting there, and he was relentless at getting there, so, and he got there, I think. So on the Elite, um, there's the switch, the lead switch, and, and you've got a uh, a bridge pickup that is, it, it looks like a humbucker, it sort of sounds like a telly when that switch is not in the lead position. It, uh, it gets that good cracking sound, it still drives the amp nicely in an even way. But then when you just need a little more support and a little more push, the switch, um, just the right frequencies to push the amp harder without changing the neighborhood that the guitar is in. It's really a nice little thing and very handy playing spot that it is. It's right there, right there where you're playing. You don't hit it by accident, but when you need it, it's right there. The pickups are, you know, they have a single coil quality to them, to me, but uh, often what you're missing in a single coil is it, you get the crack, but maybe there's no follow through. It's all, you, you're, you're sort of always diving for the amp to try to get rid of that part of it that you don't want to keep the part you do want. And something about these pickups uh, maintain the fundamental and, uh, that little brightness is um, just enhances the fundamental note. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but easy to hear.
creative process is uh, sort of by definition uh, if you're starting with a blank page. And, um, you know, I suppose when a writer puts down a good phrase, it, it, it uh, imagines the next phrase or maybe in a, a whole environment. Well, it's similar to me with a good instrument. The note is, uh, has a beauty to it or a, th there's a possibility there and you add another thing and it's all working. It's in tune. The, you can make the notes just exactly the same level or pull one out if you want it a little bit. The instrument is even and expressive so that your expression uh, works. And when it works, well, then the next idea is self-evident. <laughs> So when you get a good idea, you play the beginning of the good idea, it sounds great, guess what, you got another couple of three ideas coming. You can build on it, it's something you can build on because you're not fighting uh, an awkward guitar, you're not avoiding bad notes, you're not disallowing some voicings because the tuning is not going to come up. All of that stuff that you do as a player to get through an iffy situation it sort of disappears. When the instrument disappears as a consideration and everything you get back from it is positive, it, uh, it just becomes uh, a great uh, creative experience. The, what you get from the guitar informs what you're going to give next. <laughs> Thank you.